So here I'm getting ready to peel the butternut squash and I'm using a vegetable peeler and so I'm going to peel it and get all the skin off of most of the squash and then after I get the peeling off and get rid of it I'm going to uh, cut off the end there and then cut off the other end and the seed is in the bottom or the base of the butternut squash so I'm going to get rid of a few seeds that were left in there and now I'm cleaning up the space and then I'm going to use my spiralizer and I'm going to spiralize part of the butternut squash so here I'm going to put it's kind of challenging with this spiralizer but it's worth it and so I went on and I uh, spiralized some of the butternut squash and then I'm just going to spiralize it down to part of the base. I'm going to, have to take it out though and start all over in a moment. So there I'm going to turn it over and get some more of the butternut squash spiralized and then I'm going to take the rest of it and I am going to actually cut it up and cook the rest of it in a skillet and then the base of the butternut squash I'm going to use that to cut it up into cubes. So you'll see that I put the spiralized butternut squash into a skillet and I put that skillet in the oven and then I went over to the stove and put some broccoli and asparagus on the stove and now I'm cutting up the butternut squash that I'm going to put on top of the stove and then once I cut that up real good I'm going to um, add a little olive oil to a pan and put it on top of the stove and cook it in that little skillet there and I'm going to let that cook a little while and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the base of the butternut squash. Well, this is, yeah, this is the base of the butternut squash. I'm going to cut that in half to make it easier to work with. And then I'm going to peel the rest of the peeling off of the butternut squash. And then this part, I'm going to take the seeds out and throw them away. I was told that you can take those seeds and bake them and eat them, but I chose not to do that this time. So I'm cleaning out the seeds and the membrane from the butternut squash and then I am going to cut it up into squares and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I'm going to cook it later and make some more than likely I'm going to make some butternut squash soup but if I don't do the soup I'll just make some baked or roasted butternut squash with the cubes that I'm going to make from this base of the butternut squash so I like my space that I'm working on to be clean so I'm constantly wiping and so here you'll see I cut the butternut squash base into wedges and then I cut it into cubes here. And so then I'll put that in another pan while the other butternut squash, the spiralized butternut squash is still in the oven cooking. And the slices that I cut, they are on top of the stove cooking. And so is my asparagus and the broccoli. And so I'm cutting these up in some nice cubes and put them in the pan. And then I'll put them in the refrigerator to cook them later. I really would like to do the soup, but I really like the taste of the butternut squash by itself. So here I cut up some tomatoes, and I'm going to add those tomatoes to my salad. And then I just checked on the um, butternut squash that I was cooking on top of the stove. Got to clean up that area again. And so um, there's my salad. I added the tomatoes to the salad, and now I'm getting ready to prepare my plate. And so I thought I'd thought it was a good idea to place my plate on top of the bowl but then I decided to put the lid on the bowl and then place the plate on top of the lid so now I'm going to add some spiralized butternut squash to my plate and then I'll add my asparagus and my broccoli I put it on top of the noodles or the butternut squash noodles and then I add a little Italian dressing to this plate just to give it a little more flavor but I also like to add apple cider vinegar and so I did that because I love the flavor of the apple cider vinegar thank you for watching subscribe like and share thank you